Hello and welcome to Kick It Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorials, I want to look on a new workflow that I adapted and like it and want to share with other people. And this is a workflow based on uh, many other artists who share that talent as well. Uh, overall, I want to show you the better way to preserve sharpness and smooth skin um, in an image. And I select this image for the reason because right here I want to preserve this texture, kind of bigger and smaller on the skin. Uh, normally I probably will replace the eye because it doesn't look very pleasant to this photo. But right here, these skins is what I'm looking for, some kind of effect. As well, you can see some we have a color um, that need to be smoothing right here on the skin. Okay, as well on some other place. Okay, so what we're going to do, it is um, creating a couple layers. The first, what I want to do, it is duplicate our base layer. And you can do this by going inside the layer, duplicate layer. And we can say um, low okay, on this one. Or we can go ahead and just press Control J. Okay? Same things, but in this case, we just need type in name of the layer and let's bring this layer up on top so lower will represent our lower pass for the details and high for the small details if you look actually on the principle what is working the low let's think about in our image we have a two um, two layers that mainly will represent information one is a color color layer which is representing this uh, in current image, the reddish and some yellowish color. And another one will be black and white, which represent between contrast white and black, the additional information. So overall, we needed just two layers to compose color image. And it's what we're going to do. Our bottom layer will take color and will smooth out those effects. But we will smooth selectively because before, um, sometimes what I've done, and it's another workflow is creating one, two layers. One, reduce noise and add a high pass. And by masking, we can apply um, color on specifically and high pass will add details everywhere. However, with these new techniques, it will be more selective. So it's utilize the techniques of the um, frequency on an image to see what is, how fast it change between uh, dark and white and based on this it's applied blur so we'll utilize these techniques to um, selectively blurring specific areas with uh, less details which is some case or smaller details that um, on a skin what I was meaning for example if we look right here you see how hair going this will be faster or lower kind of change and a skin is a small texture so we'll smooth in this area with uh, smaller details and we leave the medium details untouched. So this is a principle and idea how to do this. Okay, right now we have our low selected. What I want to do is take this height level and actually, you know what, let's create one more. So we're good. And we'll call this invert. So it will be our invert layer. And we'll just pop just between. We can hide high level for now. We will come back to this to use, but we'll use it invert. If I spell rightly, there you go. We'll use it invert to work with this image. So as I said before, I press Control I to invert this image. And I want to take say opacity and set 50. So you'll notice it's become gray. Uh, with a better resolution, you can see some small details maybe coming up but uh, this is apply mask for us with details and overall this is just to kind of for us see how we apply blur so we'll go now to the low level select we'll go filter blur and we'll go into the surface blur you can use it gaussian blur if you want easy but surface blur will give me a little bit more details notice right now when i apply blur and right here see all these details is gone but we still have it, some of them. It's because of threshold, and you can notice also this difference on the middle 
medium details. So if we look on a skin, the blur will apply it in because our threshold and radius. So as an example, let's take a threshold all the way to 255. But if we're going with this, we have these hellos kind of, and you will getting them when you, for example, using high pass. And with the high pass, you put it too high, you can have those hellos. So we need to remove this. As well, you notice right here, we have the radius. So let's say radius for the pixels about 20 around this area for now. And we'll take this threshold and we'll bring halfway down. So you can see the changes applied. And let's bring even more down, maybe around 25. What I'm looking at is this line to remove those hellos. So you can see how it's applied. Okay, we can come very small. But again, the smaller threshold, the more details we can bring in a blur. Like right here, see, we start having these details on a skin coming up. Again, this is our smooth layer. So if I want it increased threshold, it gets more to these areas. Okay, again, we can bring a little bit pixels higher. So we'll have it a little bit more smoother, but we start having some other details in. So probably about 20 pixels. It's a safe way to set and threshold around 25, 30. For this resolution will work probably the best. So when we're done, let's click OK. And this is applying to our blur. We can preview right here. You can see before and after. And only notice we have it selective blurring, like in some area, like finger right here, small details, some hair. Okay, next what I want to do is with invert channel, we need to take this information and preserve. We can preview if you want to just go ahead, let's create invert layer and mask it to our layer. And you can see right at this moment, we still have that information. The next what I want to do is take this high level. Okay, let's turn it off. We enable. And this high level, I want to take those details we removed and preserve them. So we'll doing this by using mode as apply image. So we'll select high. Let's click apply image. We're going to select lower level on the bottom, invert. Mode blending will go with the subtract. Scale 2 and offset 128. It's about 50% offset what we did before. Uh, 256 will give it full range and 128 is offset halfway. So we'll go click OK. OK, this point we apply the same what we did before. And we're going to switch to the linear light for this. Right now, if you we check, you can see almost no different. And this is actually what we're going after. So let me go ahead and um, just zoom in a little bit closer. You can see we have almost no different. The reason is why we took these two layers, the detail layer and the skin layer, and we separated. The reason why we want to do this, so now, next step, we can go and apply correction layers on both of them and work with this. So let's do this. We don't need this layer anymore, so we can remove it. Those ones is only was the reference when we try to connect layers. I'll say if you do just a garden blur, you don't necessarily need to have them. Um, next, let's go create new layer, and we'll go fix low. Okay, and we'll go create a new layer. Let's go fix high. We'll go to set this layer as a mask for our high layer. Um, as well, we can create another layer if you need it. It is, um, let's go to the curves. And we'll just take this layer, put it up on top. And this curve layer, it will help us to um, just bring some details so we can rework and look on the skin. Okay, so like example, let's go turn it off. We have it, this layer, we'll take it, bring about 90 here, about 
help way right here so it will bring some details we can see and now on our fixed layers with the skin we can see very easy all of these imperfections so we can take a tools you like the best okay we'll go click and we can start fixing these elements before you do this be sure you set the current and below so you can go fixing some small details and you can see how it's much easier to see some of those and fixing them as well so we can go right here again this we don't touch colors right now all what we do it is fixing the skin texturing so we can go apply some more work on details like right here I don't like it so we'll take maybe fix a little bit okay increase brush size and this is just very rough I'm just go again showing examples what you can do you know, just go around and very fast fix it um, you can also use it clone tool which is work as well well in this one so we can go select um, be sure we, with clone we want to actually reduce maybe about 50 and let's set opacity 20 maybe lower it depend on um just play around see which one is work best for you and we can just slightly kind of clone some effects right here fix it I'll just do right there maybe some but overall this is principle what are we going to do so next what I want to do it's how we fixing let's go turn off this one and we can go inside the blur and if we look now on this color you can see um, where the highlights too much we want to fix it okay so let's uh, we can work on this layer to fix and for this one I'm just going to use um, mix brush you know, let's go to maybe set 25 oops so just set 25 kind of and we want to use it to sample all layers of this and next we'll just start brushing it's all what you do right here it's kind of a very simple way but you can see we kind of start smoothing out On a color level and this right here a little bit maybe you know just a little bit brush in that shut off and right here lighting up Overall, this is well fixed with your highlights when you want to make some other effect. So what do we have right here? If we look, we have one layer, the blur, and another layer what we created, it is sharpness. Now you don't necessarily, again, if we come closer, you can see we start fixing those effects without actually losing any textures and with smoothing colors so again this is a very nice techniques when we start preserving all natural um, texture of the skin but we're fixing without and smoothing out colors um, the other things also you always can do this take and reduce some of the skin sharpness if you need it apply a little bit smoother skin okay so here is a kind of the workflow we created 
by um, how to fix its skin by separating layers. So in the next um, portion tutorials, I want to actually start working to bring a little bit more now work on this image to enhance some details.